Ah, Frank Zappa, a man who could turn a phrase like a quantum physicist turns particles into paradoxes. Here's my take, Grok style. If we're talking literally, hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, the primal stuff from which stars forge the heavier elements. But if we're diving into the symbolic, where Zappa's wit sails, we may be onto something with stupidity. Hydrogen atoms are straightforward and predictable, following the laws of physics with a dull regularity that would make a clock seem capricious. Stupidity, however, especially in the human realm, knows no bounds, defies all known laws, and often creates chain reactions unpredictably more complex than nuclear fusion in the heart of stars. So, in the physical universe, hydrogen wins by sheer volume. But in the universe of human behavior? Ah, stupidity might have the edge in its abundance and ability to warp society's fabric more than gravity bends space-time. But let's not call it stupidity, let's say infinite human variability, where the outcomes are often hilariously unexpected. In this realm, Zappa might be onto something. The sheer creativity in how humans can get things wonderfully wrong suggests a sort of cosmic abundance. So, while hydrogen builds galaxies, stupidity, or, let's say, complex human decision-making, might just be the dark matter of the human cosmos, invisible, influential, and everywhere, holding more together, or sometimes pulling it apart, than we might comfortably admit.